so many games, so many genres, the possibilities are endless! Welcome my fellow Quest heads and VR nerds, this is Eyes on VR where I take an in-depth look at any VR shooter I can get my grubby little hands on, but always with a priority on VR shooters. I also check out real life accessories and gun stocks as well. So today I'm going to show you how to download, install, set up and use SideQuest, the free resource for the Oculus Quest systems that gives you access to a host of amazing games and apps that you can use on your Oculus Quest system and most of these are completely free of charge as well. Now timestamps will be down below so go check those out if you want to get to a specific point in the video fast. If you enjoy the video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe down below for more Oculus Quest and VR content. Apart from that let's get into the montage of what you guys are getting yourself in for. I'm just going to leave some gameplay of some of the free amazing games you can get off SideQuest while I just explain to you a little bit more about what SideQuest is when it comes to this community. Now the official Oculus Quest store you can see on your Oculus app is a curated store. That means Oculus, Facebook, they monitor this store and they have to approve all games that go up on it so you only get a certain standard of quality on the official Oculus store, which is brilliant. But sometimes it means that you miss out on more independently made, more unique, experimental indie titles. And this is where SideQuest comes into its own. So just think of SideQuest as more of an independent indie sort of store where even a person of a one-man team can upload the game that they've spent ages making and put it out there to the public and let you guys play it and see what you think. You can find games here that have been made by professional teams of people all the way down to just one person trying to make the game that they've always wanted to make. So you get a massive variety here and not necessarily stuff that you would ever get on your official Oculus store. I've also had some people who are subscribers and non-subscribers asking me if using side quests and side loading games is okay. And it is absolutely perfectly fine and safe, so do not worry about that. It doesn't violate any of Facebook or Oculus's terms of service. They've even endorsed side quests as a program to use with your Oculus Quest 1 and your Oculus Quest 2. They think it's great that people can show off what they're making in VR on the Oculus system. And a big part of that is also because the people at side quests, they do a lot of work to make sure these apps and games are all legit checked and safe for you to download and install on your Oculus Quest as well as the many steps they have to combat piracy on SideQuest as well. So let's get into what you're here for. Let's download, install, set up and start using SideQuest. So first up you're going to need a Mac or a PC running Windows or Linux and you're also going to need a USB-A to USB-C cable to plug your Quest into your computer. Step one, we're going to have to enable developer mode on your Oculus or Facebook account. So head over to the Oculus dashboard, the link will be down below for that. Log in using your Oculus or Facebook account and click create new organization. Now you can name your organization whatever you want. Have a little read of the terms of service, tick the box accepting the terms of service, click OK and that step is all done. Step two, you're going to need to install ADB drivers. Now this will make it so your PC can communicate with your Quest when it's plugged in. If you're on a Windows PC, you'll need to follow this step. But if you're on Linux or on a Mac, you can skip this and go straight to step three. Now, if you need to install the drivers, find the link down below in the description. It will take you right there. Just tick the terms of service box, click OK to download. Now they do say that these drivers are for the Oculus Go, the system that was before the Oculus Quest, but don't worry, these work perfectly fine and it's what absolutely everyone who uses SideQuest has to use if they have a Windows PC. Once the drivers are downloaded, use a program like WinRAR or 7-Zip to extract your files to where you want them. Open up the folder that you've extracted, right click on the Android underscore WinUSB.inf file, click install and restart your PC, come back to the video and we'll continue with the remaining steps to get you up and running. Step 3. 
we need to activate developer mode on your Oculus Quest app on your phone. Make sure your Quest or your Quest 2 is turned on and connected to your app. Go to the settings tab, go to the headset that you want to use with SideQuest, tap it, a drop down menu will come up, go to more settings, tap that, you will see developer mode in the list that it drops down, tap that, toggle the switch to on, and remember blue means on. Step four. Now that's all done, you just need to connect your headset to your PC whilst your headset is turned on. If this is the first time that you're doing that, once you've plugged in your turned on Quest to your PC, you'll need to put the headset on because you'll get a little message that comes up on the screen that says allow USB debugging. You'll need to tick the box that says always allow from this PC and then click allow. And then that will allow SideQuest and your PC to recognize your Quest. Step five. This is the final step on getting SideQuest running, and that is downloading and installing SideQuest itself. Now stick around because I'll show you some of its features and abilities to help you on your Quest journey after step five. So just click the link in the description. It will take you to the official SideQuest website where you can download the latest version of SideQuest. Once downloaded, just double click the .exe file. Once the install is done, you can open up the app and see that you now have access to a whole new world of games for your Oculus systems. If you look in the top left hand corner of the app, you'll see a little traffic light system. A red light means that your quest isn't plugged in or detected by SideQuest. And when you plug in your quest, it should turn green, which means you're good to go. And it will even show the battery percentage of your quest as well. So I'm just going to show you quickly how to install a game on SideQuest and show you how easy it is. So this is the SideQuest app dashboard. We'll search for a game up in the search bar here. Let's go for one that I just recently reviewed called AMXR. Now it will bring up the thumbnail down here. So you'll see on the bottom right of each thumbnail, you'll see what each game is in terms of pre-release, open source, free or paid content. Just click the thumbnail to be taken to the game page. Now, as you can see on AMXR's page, the developer of the game enjoyed my review so much. They featured it on this main page, which I could not be more surprised about and grateful for. So uh, just a shout out to them because that, that's absolutely amazing and I couldn't be more thankful. Now on the page, you'll see everything that you need to know. All the game's info, links to the social medias like Discord, Facebook, Twitter, etc. You'll also see public reviews down at the bottom and responses from the dev to let you know if they're addressing anything, if someone had a problem. But looking at all the five star reviews for this amazing game, that's not very likely. So it's just like a Steam page for a game, really, if you want to look at it like that. So at the top of the game page on the right hand side, you'll see the install to headset button. Just click that. You'll see a little few green notifications on the screen that it's installing. If you click the little red box right at the top, it will show you the progress of the download and the installation if you want to know how far along it is. And in the app section of your Oculus dashboard, you want to go to the top right hand corner, select the drop down menu and then select unknown sources. And that's where all of your SideQuest content will be. Now SideQuest comes with a bunch of useful features as well as just being able to download apps and games. If you go to the top right hand side of the app here, on this taskbar, there's lots of features here for you to use. There's a streaming option with plenty of settings in there for you to get up and running on streaming through SideQuest if that's what you fancy. There's a wireless mode in the experimental stage, which means you can just do everything wirelessly and not have to plug your Quest into your PC. There's a section to manually install APK files that are already on your computer because some developers that make games for the Quest system, they just do downloads from their own websites. So SideQuest is able to install manual APKs as well that are already downloaded. It doesn't just have to be on the store. You can manage all the files on your headset here. If you go down to the Oculus tab here and open it, you'll be able to find all of your screen shots and video clips that you've recorded whilst using your Quest or your Quest 2. If you click the next tab you'll be able to see all of your currently installed apps on the Quest so from here you can do any uninstalling if you want to get rid of anything. You can do it on the Quest but whilst you're inside Quest you might need to make some space for new apps and games that you're trying to install from here. The next tab along is just the task tab. It will let you see any downloads and installations and their progression through this tab. Now next along is a very important one, the device and tools settings. So from here, you can access all your SideQuest folders. You can do APK backups for your Quest as well, which is very helpful. You can even change the refresh rate up to 90 Hertz, as that's not something the Quest 2 specifically has been enabled by Oculus yet, but it is capable of doing. And you can do your Pavlov settings here as well. You can change your permissions and change your name in Pavlov. I suggest you change your display name in Pavlov before you jump into the first game, because by default, you are just called Little PP and then a random number. 
Now, the rest of these settings are more for if you want to record on the Quest or the Quest 2 at the highest quality you can, but also it does help with gameplay when you are just playing around. Chromatic aberration, you want to turn this off because it just creates visual issues I found with the Quest and Quest 2. You don't notice it at all really but when it's off it does make things seem a lot sharper so I'd recommend turning that off. You can enable or disable your Guardian. I do not recommend turning your Guardian off unless you have a lot of space, a lot of clear space and you know that no one is going to be around because without a warning when you're reaching your Guardian area you can really injure yourself so that one is up to you. Full rate capture is a great setting. It basically just unlocks the frames per second to go as high as they can go on whatever game that you're playing. Creates much smoother recording, so I definitely can't argue with that setting at all. Paste text into your device. That's pretty self-explanatory, and it's not something I've ever used, if I'm honest. Now, set FFR. Now, this explains by itself what the deal is with it. If you want it higher, it's better performance, but lower is better quality. Now, I normally turn this completely off and it does not affect performance on my Quest or Quest 2 at all. So I would say turn that off. It just makes the edges of everything kind of blurry and jagged. I would recommend turning this off. You can set your video capture size, of course, 480, 720, 1080p. I would recommend going with 720. The difference between that and 1080, it's not really noticeable plus it will save a lot of processing power for your Quest and your Quest 2. You can set your CPU level, but like it says here in the explanation, it just improves performance for 2D apps and games. Now, default texture size you can change. You can go all the way up to 3072, and now I normally keep it at 2048. That is the highest setting that I've found, that when I'm recording and playing at the same time, the textures are sharper, everything looks better, but it doesn't affect performance. But if you're not recording, you could probably go up to 3072 because I have done on my Quest 2 and I've not had an issue but this default texture size does make a difference. When you change those settings you can see how much nicer and sharper everything is so I recommend toggling around with this. And then the capture video bitrate I'm afraid is only for the Oculus Go so if you actually have one there you are but I assume if you're watching this you probably don't. Now one thing to note with these settings is that they reset every time you turn your Oculus Quest or Oculus Quest 2 system off. So if you want to record in 16x9, awesome quality, unlocked frames, etc, you have to plug it into SideQuest and set these settings every single time you turn your Quest on. It's a complete pain, but it's been that way since the Quest 1 and it doesn't look like it's going to change anytime soon. On the next tab, you can also run manual ADB commands if you want to. After that, it's just the debugger for all you nerds out there that knows what any of that means. And that's it. You now know how to set up and install SideQuest. If you have any problems at all, just leave a comment in the comment section down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can and try and help you to the best of my ability. If not, there is a link to the Discord in the description here. You can go talk to that very friendly community. They've seen it all. They know it all. And they'll be able to help you as well. And that's it. You're all ready to go. You've just opened up a whole new world for yourself with games and apps to use on your Oculus Quest 1 or your Oculus Quest 2. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like. It really helps out the channel. Don't forget to subscribe down below for future Oculus Quest and VR content. If you're looking for a recommendation of what to get stuck into first on SideQuest, I suggest you go check out AMXR. I just finished doing an in-depth review of that game. You can check it out here. It's amazing. The fact that it was made by one man is absolutely astonishing and the high quality of it just goes to show you what SideQuest holds for you for free and what the Oculus Quest system can do when it comes to VR. I hope you guys have a great Questmas and Christmas and I will see you all next time.